Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change someone's eye color in Photoshop using layer and clipping masks and adjustment layers. All the changes we make will be non-destructive, which means that nothing we do will be permanent. So when we're finished setting things up, you can go back and make adjustments without having to go through every step all over again. You can also download the project files for this tutorial, including both the before and after Photoshop files. That way you can see exactly how everything was put together and have a photo to work from if you don't have one of your own. Let's get started. Here we have our source image, and yours might be a little less creepy, but the techniques we're going to use can be used on anything. So the first thing that we're going to do is duplicate this background layer, and we're going to name that layer Iris. Next, we're going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, and we're going to change the hue to something that makes our iris look blue. So in this case, it's all the way over to the right. And I'm also going to take the saturation down a bit, just so it looks a little more realistic. Next, we're going to give the hue and saturation adjustment layer a clipping mask. So you're going to right click it and hit create clipping mask. And by creating a clipping mask on our adjustment layer, it'll show the adjustments that we just made, but based on the information in the layer beneath it. In our case, the layer beneath it covers the whole canvas, so you won't see any difference between having a clipping mask turned on or off yet. Next, we're going to add a layer mask to our iris layer, so we're going to click that layer and drag it down to the new layer mask icon. And a layer mask lets you show or hide certain parts of a layer without actually having to erase them. Where the mask is white, you'll see the layer at 100% opacity, and where it's black, it will be completely transparent. And then there are varying levels of gray in between. So we want to hide our entire layer for now, so we're going to fill that layer mask using our paint bucket tool with black. Next we're going to use the brush tool, and using white, we're going to paint on our layer mask to show through just our eye. You'll notice as I paint that the iris is showing through as blue, and that's because our adjustment layer on top is using the layer mask of the layer below, since the adjustment layer has a clipping mask applied. And the beauty of using a layer mask is that you can always come back and adjust things later. So say I accidentally overpainted here, I can just switch my color to black and paint back over that, and it will hide it, rather than having to delete parts of the actual layer. Next, I'm going to add a levels adjustment mask to increase the overall brightness and contrast. So I'm going to bring the black slider up a bit, and what that does is we'll make anything that's dark gray appear to be black. And I'm going to move the white slider down, and that will make anything that's light gray appear to be white. And then the middle slider moves as you adjust the blacks and whites. So that increases the overall brightness. Now you'll notice that it affects the entire image, which we don't want. So what we're going to do is create another clipping mask. So I'm going to right click the levels adjustment layer, and click create clipping mask. So now it uses the layer mask information of the layer below and only affects our iris. So if I turn it on and off, you can see the difference. And that's pretty much it. You can go back in and adjust the hue and saturation to get different eye colors and different saturations. And you can adjust your layer mask if you need to fine tune that. Now before we're done, I wanted to show you one more cool trick using Photoshop layer styles. So I'm going to hide these two adjustment layers for now, and I'm going to double click on this iris layer to bring up the layer styles dialog, and I'm going to turn on the gradient overlay effect. I'm going to set the gradient style to radial, and then I'm going to choose a gradient here. We can just use this red to green one, and I'm going to change the blend mode to color. Now if I scale down this gradient till you can see kind of both colors, and then with the layer style dialog still open, I can click over on my image and drag my gradient around until it's centered where I want, which is going to be right over the pupil. Now I can adjust things like the opacity and choose different gradients to get different looks in our eye. So you can also change the blend mode to something like overlay and get some cool effects depending on what you're going for. Now you can save your file, and if you need to come back and edit things later, all you have to do is make changes to the adjustment layers or layer styles. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.